In this video, we're going to cover key things I think you need to know about abdominal aortic aneurysm or AAA screening, a test that helps to check if there's a swelling in your aorta, which is the main blood vessel that carries blood from the heart to the abdomen. So why is abdominal aortic aneurysm screening done? Well, it helps to check if there are any swellings called aneurysms in the main blood vessel in your abdomen, which is called the aorta, and you can see this on screen now. The aorta is a really big blood vessel that runs from your heart down to your abdomen. Now the good news is that AAA screening can help find an abdominal aortic aneurysm early. This means it can be monitored and treated if needed so it's less likely to burst which can be life-threatening and that's why we do the screening. So who is AAA screening for? Well all men living in England are invited for abdominal aortic aneurysm screening the year they turn 65. You'll have the AAA screening test once unless an aneurysm is found and we'll discuss what happens if they find an aneurysm later on in this video. Now men are invited for AAA screening because they're more likely to have an abdominal aortic aneurysm than women. AAA screening is not usually offered to people with a lower risk of getting an abdominal aortic aneurysm routinely, including men who are under 65, women and people who have already had treatment for an abdominal aortic aneurysm. Now if you're not eligible for AAA screening but you think you're at a higher risk of getting an abdominal aortic aneurysm then you should talk to your doctor about the possibility of getting a scan. Now you might be at higher risk if you've got people in your family that have had an abdominal aortic aneurysm in the past, you've got high blood pressure, diabetes or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease which you might know as COPD or if you smoke. By the way, if you do smoke and you're interested in quitting, then please do check out this other video on my channel, which I've linked in the description box of this video, which covers 10 tips to help you successfully quit today. So how do you get abdominal aortic aneurysm screening? Well, in the year that you turn 65, if you're a man, you'll get a letter inviting you for a pre-booked screening appointment. The letter is usually sent three to six weeks before the appointment, and screening usually takes place at GP surgeries or health centers and sometimes in hospitals. Now if you need to change your appointments or you've not had the invitation letter and you think you should have, contact your local AAA screening service and I've included a link in the description box of this video to help you find the nearest one to you. So how is abdominal aortic aneurysm screening carried out? Well the main test to find out if you've got an abdominal aortic aneurysm is an ultrasound scan of your tummy. It usually takes around 10 to 15 minutes and it's completely painless. Now a small handheld device called a probe is placed in your abdomen and it sends images of inside your abdomen to a screen that you can see here. Now the medical professional doing the test is going to check for any bulges or swelling of the aorta However, sometimes it might not be possible to get a very clear picture of aorta. Now, if this happens, don't worry, you just need to have another scan. Now, you'll get the results of the AAA screening at the end of the scan, but if they're not immediately available, then your GP will be sent the results. If you don't have an aneurysm, you don't need to do anything else, and you won't need to have any more scans. On the other hand, if an aneurysm is found during your scan, what happens next will really depend on the size of the aneurysm. So if it's small, meaning between three centimeters and 4.4 centimeters, you'll have a scan every year to see if the aneurysm has got bigger, and you'll see a specialist nurse for advice. If it's medium, so 4.5 centimeters to 5.4 centimeters, you'll have a scan every three months to see if it's got bigger, and again, you'll see a specialist nurse for advice. Finally, if it's large, so 5.5 centimeters or bigger, you'll be referred to a specialist called a vascular surgeon for more tests as well as possible treatment. Now, if you've got a small or medium aneurysm, you'll be offered an appointment to see the specialist nurse, like I mentioned. Now, they're going to ask you any questions that you might have, as well as talk to you about any medications that you need to take, having your blood pressure checked more often because the goal would be to make sure that your blood pressure is within optimal ranges, as well as things you can do to slow down the growth of the aneurysm. So things like quitting smoking if you smoke, losing weight if you're overweight, as well as having a healthy balanced diet. For more information about abdominal aortic aneurysms, please check out this other video on my channel. And I've also included lots of useful extra resources in the description box of this video.